talking about is this idea of body storming. This could be a um, alternative to the idea of generated software. So the next step up towards the microtubule, which has 13 chains working together, which seems like a really challenging thing, would be instead of one strand, two strands that are close together. different vision of what's going on in a cell. Catastrophes are happening in our bodies millions at a time in many ways, is that? Yeah, I would say uh, right now there's about um, a million cell divisions going on right now within your body. And in each one of those cell divisions, there's about 1,000 microtubules that are dynamically growing and shortening and will undergo a catastrophe several times each minute. One of the things that we can do is we set up our perimeter. The people who aren't in sumo suits are, are tasked with keeping the sumos in, in, inside the cell. If, if you guys are protein, which I think is a, what I was thinking of, in between you are lots and lots of water and other stuff. And those guys are like, you know what I mean? I picture in my head, I hear like just loud music and, you know, like you were saying, Carl, the water just flying everywhere. <laughs> In. The outside people can also throw balls at us. And the, and the bond will break. Does that make sense? We had a beautiful moment, I thought, when we, the theory would have predicted, right, that the, right. when you put in these obstacles, that the rate would have gone up and it went way down. It didn't matter if they were stationary or, move, or moving. We spent a lot of time programming and running simulations and we know the model explains a lot of experiments. We've gotten into the situation where we don't understand why the model does what it does. We don't intuitively understand that. I think coming back to the arena here now and, and just acting it out and being actually being in it, you now, I am a molecule, you know, and I, I sense what it's like to live in this world. <laughs>